Uh, there's the moon at dusk here, April 3rd, 2020. There's Venus, April 3rd, 2020. Tonight, behind Venus, once it gets dark, you'll see Pallades, the Seven Sisters. In a sort of conjunction with, uh, with Venus. see it there behind look at that yeah you can that's pretty cool wow look at that that is awesome that's just amazing all right I'm gonna try to grab a photograph of that well let's let this play for a moment I'm going to take a picture of why it's still a little bit light, see if that helps any. I mean, that's pretty amazing, though. Okay, now shooting through the Tamron and the Nikon D7200. Just like zero wind. Beautiful evening. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Hey, Tom, check this out. Hey, Dad, check this out. I'm out here because, uh, you know, right now is... Uh, look, look, look what I'm zooming in on, Tom. I don't know if Dad will be able to see this. No, can, you, can you see that screen? Come and look here. That's that's Venus with Pilates. That's this planet. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see it, yeah. And that's up there in the sky. You can see more on, more on this than on... Yeah, I can see it there. Heck, yeah. I can't even see the other things. Can you see it on the on this little screen now? Yeah. That's Venus, and around it is Pallades. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so this is uh, is my dad. <laughs> Say hi, Dad. Oh, yeah, you're not zooming in. Anyway. Oh, I, I see it's black now. So there it's I go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. Now it's gonna zoom. Now it's I can really zoom in yeah, on it too. I can see the screen. I can see the star star up above too. Yeah. Yeah. It's bright. Amazing, eh? Now I'm just gonna let that uh, let that play there. It's cold. It's really cold. Out here. It's really cold. I mean, it's not like snow, but it's like you know it's probably like one thirty. It's gonna be hot tomorrow though. Twenty degrees. Time tells you. Yeah, one after the other again. They're a little bit more on the right side. Let's see if we can pick one up. Yeah, there's one right coming right over right now. I probably could see that one. That should be right about in the middle, up high now. So we just saw what those were. Whole bunch of them. An airplane. That's strange. Of course, we all know Venus, but uh, interesting folklore on Venus as well, but on Pallades. It's three times in the Bible. Amos and two times in Job. Job 9-9. Nine, nine. Who made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades, and the chambers of the south? Talking of God, of course. In similar fashion, Job 38-31. Can you bind the chains of the Pleiades or loose the cords of Orion? Amos 5, 8, the one who made the Pallades and Orion 
and turns deep darkness into the morning and darkens the day into night who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out on the surface of the earth. Jehovah is his name. Greek mythology, of course, uh, known as the Seven Sisters. Many of the uh, you know, legends speak of that. Ancient Aztecs actually based their calendar on on the Pleiades. And the Hopi as well have something similar and many other legends and folklores. I know that the Mayans had also a lot of uh, the modern Mayans, a lot of uh, folklore about Pleiades. My friend the Black Jaguar as well. It is a constellation that really stands out in a weird way because it's pretty small. Anyway, interesting. Let it run there for a while. And out the night vision there. Okay, the lower it goes towards the horizon there in the west, the harder it's the, it is to focus in on it. That's for sure. Got a couple decent pictures. I wanna to try to grab one or two more here and then uh, try to throw in the Pleiades going down here, sitting down here. See, it's getting pretty low on the horizon. I'll try to follow her a little bit further down here. Follow them. Yeah, it's a very feminine uh, matchup, huh? Venus and uh, Seven Sisters. Clouds rolling in too, so we're gonna call the night here. But it was beautiful. <laughs> 